Hello and welcome to the Excel Basics Pro, a course wherein you will learn Microsoft Excel right from the basics. Many of the students come up to us and ask this query that they want to learn advanced Excel but they have never used Microsoft Excel before. So can they enroll themselves into the advanced Excel course? It's obvious that without knowing basics of Excel, advanced Excel functions and formulas would be very difficult for you. So for you and for those students who want to learn advanced Excel but don't know the basics or they haven't even seen Microsoft Excel in their life, this is the course for you. We will start Microsoft Excel right from the basics. Very first thing that you need to know is what version of Excel that you will be working on. Let's go to my computer screen. Let me click on the start button. Come to all apps. Let me click on this character A, go to E and click on Excel. When Excel is starting, it shows me the version. So here it says the my version of Excel is Microsoft 365. Similarly, when you open Excel on your computer, it will tell you if it is Microsoft 2010, 2020, 13, 2016 or whatever. Whatever is the version, the formulas and functions that I am going to teach you in this course will work the same across all versions. It's just that it will look a bit different. That's it. Nothing much. Okay. So here when Excel is getting started, it gives me some options as in first thing is to start with a blank workbook. Now what is a workbook? Excel file. An Excel file is called as a workbook. So it gives me an option to start with a blank workbook. It also gives me some templates that I can use to start with. Here are some files that I have been used in the past. And if I want to continue working on one of those files, I can just click on them. That file will get open and we can uh, work on th those files. As of now, as we are starting from the basics, I like to go with the blank workbook. So here it is. Once I click on blank workbook, we get this blank uh, Excel file in front of us. Obviously, on at the top, we have the title bar. Then we have these tabs, home tab, insert tab, draw tab, page layout tab. All these are tabs. When we click on one of the tabs, we see the ribbon. This is known as a ribbon and the ribbon has group of functions. So here we have a font group, alignment group, uh, sorry, alignment group, number group and all these are groups of features that we can use in Excel. Similarly, if I go to the insert tab, insert tab gives me a different ribbon with different groups of features. So we have tables, charts. If I go to formulas, I have function library, formula auditing. If I go to say data, then I have transform data, data types. So all the ribbons give us different, different groups of features that we can use with Excel. Currently, the ribbon view is hidden for me. We can bring that back. Obviously, we have this button here that gives us multiple options. There are three, four options here. If I say, if I click this option, always show ribbon. My ribbon will be shown always most of the time. This is the by default view of Excel. Okay. But since it takes too much space on my screen, I like to keep it uh, hidden, which is why I go here and click on this option show tabs only. We can also have this one full screen mode wherein all the menus, everything is hidden and we only get to see our workspace, our worksheet. And then I need to click on this three dots here so that I get to see the tabs and the ribbon. Okay. I very likely use this show tabs only wherein I get to see the tabs. I get to see my worksheet and whenever I need my ribbon or my features or my functions, I just need to click on the tabs name. So this is the user interface of Excel. As I told you, these are tabs and we, see, we have seen the ribbons. Here we have the name box, name box. Now what is the function of the name box? It gives the name of the cell that we have selected. Okay. Now what is a cell? Right now on our worksheet or uh, our sheet, we can see that our page is uh, contains of many columns and rows. Okay. Columns are given A, B, C, D kind of num names and the rows are given 1, 2, 3 kind of names. And each column and each row merges up to, uh, to create a box. Now that box is called as a cell and that cell takes the name of its column and row. So here in the name box as of now it is showing H, A because the cell that I have selected 
is in column H and row number 8. So if I click here, we can see E and 5 are little bit of dark shaded, which means the cell that I have selected is in column E and uh, row 5 and which is why name box tells me that the cell that I have selected that has the name as E5. Okay, so these are our columns, these are our rows and these are, uh, these are the cells. Then we come here to see the name of our sheet. Now currently it is showing sheet 1 as this is one of the sheets that we will be working on. When I click on this plus sign, we get another sheet, sheet 2 if we want. Another sheet if we want, we can again keep on clicking on this plus sign and we can get as many sheets as we want to work in this workbook. Okay, so this is how Excel user interface looks like. Now we are ready to start entering our data in the form of text and numbers that we will do in our next video. So see you in my next video.